Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion. So give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, April the 15th, traditionally tax day, but not this year since I think you have an extension till April 17th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. There's a quick look at our uh, Storm Protection Center's storm reports from yesterday. Uh, interesting uh, wind events, uh, but uh, no hail was reported of any significance, and uh, only two tornadoes reported in Mississippi. We were very fortunate. This morning, a satellite image shows we have a lot of clouds from these uh, uh, showers and thunderstorms and the rain area that uh, has uh, moved out into southeast Alabama. And we can see some clearing there in Mississippi and Louisiana, but there's also some low clouds back in Arkansas. Storm uh, system, uh, the low-pressure storm center is over uh, Ohio with a cold front stretching down through Alabama, and that's uh, certainly uh, bringing some cooler weather our way. In the upper atmosphere, we have this closed low over 500 millibars over uh, extreme southwestern Iowa that will be uh, moving over to the mid-Atlantic states in, over the next 24 hours. Temperatures across the state are uh, quite varied uh, down in the southeast. They're down in the, their, their temperatures are in the mid-60s. It's kind of mild, but up in Muscle Shoals, they're at 46. So we have a 20 degree uh, change across the area. Interesting to note, too, that Mobile is rather cool at 49 degrees, whereas, uh, you know, those areas uh, like Dothan has uh, around... Uh, uh, 60, uh, let's see, what is that? 68 degrees, I think there. So yes, quite a range. Uh, the radar, uh, uh, over the Southeastern U S shows that much of the heaviest rain has moved out except for the extreme Southeast corner of the state. Watch warning map is still pretty, uh, cluttered, but, uh, a little bit less. We have some green areas there in the Appalachians that are flash flood watches. The purples and pinks you see across the Great Lakes, those are all winter weather uh, advisories and warnings. And then uh, the, the dark blues that you see are uh, uh, freeze advisories across parts of Oklahoma and Missouri and the central Mississippi River Valley. QPF-wise, it looks like for the most of the state, the precipitation is over. This is through uh, uh, from this morning through uh, uh, 12Z on Friday morning. And uh, the um, WPC guys have a slight risk for heavy Precipitation on the eastern slopes of uh, the Appalachians from uh, western North Carolina up uh, to uh, extreme southeastern Pennsylvania. Storm Prediction Center has an enhanced risk over parts of North Carolina with a large slight risk covering uh, much of the southeast U.S. coast and Florida, uh, as well as parts of Virginia and the Carolinas. And day uh, two, there's no severe weather forecast, and same on day three. Now, when we get out to uh, day five, uh, pardon me, day six. This is day six. Uh, we have that 15% uh, area over basically West Texas. All right, the 06 GFS model run. There goes our system, and we can see the surface low moving across Ohio and the front moving on out of the area. In the upper atmosphere, the closed low is uh, over southeast Iowa and um, becoming a little bit more negatively tilted there, but uh, moving on out. That low moves on out. Monday morning, we're going to see some pretty chilly temperatures. Uh, you can see the nice northwesterly fetch aloft and at the surface, uh, following the isobars all the way back into south central uh, or, or basically central Canada. And again, the GFS uh, suggesting temperatures uh, in the 30s uh, all the way down to uh, very close to Montgomery. And so that means some uh, patchy frost possibility. I don't think, uh, because the wind is going to stay up, I don't think the frost will be all that widespread. So I don't believe uh, the National Weather Service will be issuing any kind of frost advisories. But that could change. Uh, large upper ridge comes over us on Tuesday, so we warm up nicely. Uh, the ridge stays uh, with us into Wednesday, but we see another strong uh, closed low coming across Iowa. And that will be generating another surface low in the vicinity of just west of Chicago with a cold front trailing down into the uh, lower Mississippi River Valley. But uh, because precipitable water values are fairly low, I don't think many of us will see much in the way of measurable precipitation, maybe some passing clouds as the cold front moves through. 
but we can't rule out the isolated shower. <clears throat> By Thursday, we're coming back under a ridge once again, and the ridge is uh, the big main player on uh, Friday. But we do note another uh, reasonably strong closed low approaching the Oklahoma uh, panhandle area, and that closed low moves into the eastern part of Oklahoma as it's weakening on Saturday. So we see uh, the formation of a, a surface low over Oklahoma uh, with a cold front stretching down into the uh, uh, Gulf Coast of Texas. That system will move into our area on Sunday, but it does look like uh, the main threat for precipitation with a surface low over uh, northern Alabama does look like the main threat for uh, precipitation will come uh, Saturday evening into the first half of Sunday uh, that maybe by 10 a.m. to noon on Sunday, the precipitation is essentially uh, over or at least much lighter. And now the question about severe weather, uh, we do see enough uh, Cape values, so there's enough instability there that we may see uh, some thunder associated with this. But when we look at the uh, enhanced, um, uh, pardon me, the uh, energy helicity, uh, EHI, when we look at the energy helicity index combining uh, instability and shear, we don't see values uh, that seem very uh, or seem sufficient enough to produce any severe weather. Uh, moving out to uh, just into voodoo country, uh, the ridge stays fairly strong over uh, kind of the, the northwestern Gulf of Mexico, and we do see a, a several series of little short waves. Uh, there's like four of them. There's one over uh, North Carolina, there's one over Missouri, there's one over southeastern Colorado, and there's another one back over Southern California. So the pattern stays pretty active. But by uh, Thursday, as we get well out into uh, voodoo country, the 26th, we see one consolidated closed low in the vicinity of uh, central Kansas. Uh, that system uh, moves across the area on the 27th, and that does look like another potential for some stormy weather. And then uh, around the 28th, that moves out, but we come under a ridge. We see another one uh, right behind it over uh, parts of uh, you know our eastern Wyoming, essentially. Uh, but by the time we get to the very end of the period, it looks like that system is being sheared out with the ridge over the south uh, southern tier of the United States holding strong. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann will be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay warm today. It's going to be one of those chilly days. Have a great day and Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.